Oh, hi, good morning. Today is April 3rd, 2017, and I'm here to present to you from the series called Dissecting the Bible Verse by Verse. When I posted on Facebook that I was willing to do this with um with you guys, the first person who sent me a Bible verse was Mr. Nitti Ajedi, and um I'm here to talk about his Bible verse, which is 1 Peter 2, verse 24 to 25. This is how it reads. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were like sheep going astray. But now you have returned to the shepherd and overseer of your soul. The two things I'll take out of this is, firstly, he himself bore our sins. And the second thing is like that we were like sheep going astray. Let us pray. Dear Lord, our Heavenly Father, as we come to you this morning, Lord God, we are so grateful, so humbled, so honored. And so thankful that you, Lord God, has chosen to take on the sins of the world, Lord God, so that we may live for righteousness. Lord God, we were all like sheep going astray, but because of your love, because of your grace and your great sacrifice, we are able to return to the shepherd and overseer of our souls. Bless us now, Lord God, in ways only you can. I pray, Lord God, that as the conduit that you have chosen in me to present this to your people i pray god that nothing will be based on my own preconception nothing lord god will be of me because it's all about you none of it is about me lord god i take no credit for what i'll say here but i pray god that you lord god will speak to me your holy spirit will give me the clarity and the know-how and the know what to say in this situation bless us now in ways only you can in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen and amen so the first part we want to take on is the part that says he himself bore our sins and the example i'm going to use to to let you understand how God took on the sins of the world the sins of man just imagine if Jesus is a bank account imagine if he's your bank account somewhere and you are the depositor what we did was deposited all our sins into this bank account having him take on our sins our sinful nature this um, Jesus was and is spotless he's clean he's free of sin what he did was take on all the sins of the world he took it unto himself and he carried that he carried it in his body to the cross where he was crucified and died for our sins and the reason for this was because of his love for us because he wants us to live for righteousness so that we can return to the father not as sheep that were going astray, but as those who have been delivered, who has faced salvation and has the opportunity to return to the shepherd and overseer of our soul. I want to remind you of how sin got into the world. And we all know the story of Adam and Eve. We all know the story, so I don't have to go through it. But sin started right there, right there when Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden. That's when sin started. This was a pure world free of sin. Adam and Eve, was they were placed in this garden. All they were asked to do was to maintain the garden, tend to the garden, and enjoy the garden. But the crafty serpent, Satan, who started this sinful situation, he's the same one that has caused man to sin. So what Jesus did was take on the sin of the world so that we can live a life of righteousness and purity. Let's look at the, the term undeserved suffering. Isaiah 53 verse 6 to 7 explains it best. Um, when we read Isaiah 53 verse 6 to 7, what we can really surmise is that Jesus took on our sin and he died an undeserved death. His suffering was undeserved all because he wanted to make sure that us creations of this world, our sins were purged away. We were, we can have reconciliation. So he bore them unto himself so that we didn't have to live in this sinful nature. Yes, we were given that opportunity, but so many still sin on a daily basis and refuse to ask for forgiveness. So today I just want to talk to you about the fact that he bore our sin. He went through this sacrifice. He died for us. He took our sins in his body. He took on our sinful nature. None of it was sin that he committed for himself. He brought our sins to the cross. 
he had a body that bore no sin of its own all right so what happened jesus death freed us freed us from both the penalty and the power of sin jesus death brought us into a situation where we can have eternal life and live righteously big or small all sins were taken on by him known or unknown all sins were taken on by him man or woman boy or girl all sins were taken on by him he chose to focus on our sin to take it unto himself because of his dire love for us what that has done is leave us at a place leave us, us at a place where we don't have to feel like we are carrying this burden on our back we don't have to feel like sheep without a shepherd we don't have to feel like sheep just going astray just wandering around in our sinful nature we now have the opportunity to live a sinless life we have the opportunity to live righteously and to return to the shepherd to return to the shepherd an overseer of our soul which is God himself sinless pure clean ready to take on all issues of the world to take on situations where we can bring others into a relationship with him I pray that you guys learn something from this explanation first Peter 2nd 24 to 25 this is not a Bible verse that is preached a lot in churches no it's not it's not preached a lot it's not explained a lot but right now today I just want to talk to you guys about it and I pray that what I spoke to you about some of it will sink in so that you will understand the sacrifice that Jesus made and that cross for you he bore our sins he not just died on the cross he took on the sins of man so that we can live a sinless a pure and a righteous life and return the, to the father clean washed white as snow without the burden of our sinful nature let us pray almighty god we come to you today lord god we come to you in one accord we come to you lord god so excited lord god and so open-minded to learn more about you and what you have done for your people lord god first peter second verse 24 to 25 says it best you bore our sins in your body on the cross lord god no more are we sheep going astray but lord we were given the opportunity to return to the shepherd and overseer of our soul spotless and clean i thank you lord god for that opportunity and i thank you for using me as the conduit to explain this to your people i pray god that hearts will be softened today others will ask for forgiveness lord god and you will be merciful unto them you will open up the floodgates of heaven and bless your people lord god your people who are of a sinless nature lord god i thank you mighty god for the fact that you have st stood in the gap for our sins that your son died on calvary's cross that you have paid this price for us a, 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 a price a sacrifice that was paid for us where we will never ever be able to repay that loan but Lord God, just as I said in the beginning, that we were depositors depositing our ugliness into that bank account. And he ran with it. And he took it to the cross. And he died for us. And we are grateful. We are thankful. Lord, we want to give you all the honor, all the glory, all the praise. We want to thank you and thank you and thank you again. We want to thank you for this opportunity to live a sinless life. We want to thank you for the opportunity, Lord God, to face you on that day, pure pure, clean, washed, white as snow. Bless us now in ways only you can. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Have a wonderful day. And remember that Jesus bore the sin of the world. He was spotless. He sinless. He never sinned. He never committed any of these sins. But because of his love for you and me, he died on Calvary's cross so that we have the opportunity for eternal life. Amen.